right welcome back fulani s men are not under attack or being chased out of a boeing state police command all right the news in detail the attention of the Ebony State Police Command has been drawn to a distorted and misleading video in circulation on social media platform that Fulani S men were being attacked and chased out of Ebony State by faceless group image. To set the record straight, the command wishes to state that on the 2nd of January 2021, one Fulani S man, Al Haji Adamo, residing at Uzibo village in Nkalele, Nkaleke Ichaba slash a Yibishiri community in a Boeing local government area of a Boeing state, decided to relocate with some members of his family to Taraba State in search of greener pastures for his cows as the dry season is setting in. Haji Adamu also informed the village chairman and Ichaba Development Center coordinator before his peaceful and voluntary relocation. For the avoidance of doubt, Al Haji Hadamu left seven other members of his family, Al Haji Musa Damfu, and six others who are still residing at the same settlement with some of their cattle. Therefore, the command wishes to re emphasize that before this video, the command have no record of threat to the life of the people and then to the life of the peace loving headers of their cows neither to those residing in the said camp or in the entire state it may also interest the public to know that the fulani community yesterday being second first 2020 paid christmas and New Year visit to His Excellency, the Executive Governor of a Boeing State, and nothing of such threat was reported. However, the mischief makers and the enemies of the state made a voice record over the video to create panic, mislead, and public and misrepresent the peaceful coexistence of the Edas and their host communities in Ebony State. The command therefore urges the general public to regard the video as fake baseless and mischievous and go about their lawful businesses. Meanwhile, the Commissioner of Police Ebony State, CP Philip Sule Maku, PSC, FDC has ordered full-scale investigation into the matter with a view to arresting those behind the fake video for possible prosecution. The CP is also reassuring the general public, particularly the Fulani ex men and their host communities in Ebony State to the command's continuous commitment to ensure the safety and security of their lives and properties. All right, and then this has been said so far on this one. All right, and as it is, it has been said that Fulani S men are not under attack or being chased out of a Boeing State Police Command. Well, what baffled me in this passage that I have just read is that to according to what has been said so far and it has been said that the attention of the Ebony state police command has been drawn to a distorted and misleading video in circulation on social media platform that fulani s men were being attacked and chased out of a Boeing state by faceless group image okay and then this has no caused a lot of reactions on social media that and uh, why did this it and then um, 
according to Ozo Iya Bahoko, he has said that, well, this shows that all our political leaders has an agreement with the Fulani for political gains. And that is just it. Well, a lot of people have already said it right before now that most of these are politicians meant no good for the people of nigeria most especially in the southeastern part of nigeria simply because you can imagine a lot of you no know, uh, outfits had been organized as in talking about the amoteco right now in ondo state a lot of them have organized their own outfit security outfits just to protect lives and properties yet but when the eastern security network was launched the reverse happened to be the case in the sense that the federal government insisted that there should be a stop to it, of which there is no proper security outfit that has been made for the people of the southeast. And then um, if you take a very good look at what has been happening, you will understand that the federal government has end in the insecurity aspect in the country. And then that has been a lot of, no, has caused a lot of controversies on social media already. Okay, and then meanwhile, according to Ndubuisi Neji, Ndubuisi Neji has said that, well, the, there's a good decision and more relocation on this one. Okay, and then it is said that it is better for them to relocate because what is coming to them, they cannot be able to bear it. They cannot be able to bear it. Just go back to your own state. If not, your life is already in danger. Well, what this person is trying to say in essence on this part is that as far as the Eastern people are concerned, they are not ready to take it lightly with anyone who calls himself a headman or a header because you cannot do what you have been doing in the north. You can't try it in the southeast. You will never go scot free, and that is it. And I think uh, it's one of the reasons why, while the federal government has insisted that Kano should put a stop to his security network, hmm. this is no. This has gotten out of hand anyway. Well, a lot of reactions have been have been seen on social media. Well, as it is, majority of you no know, Nigerians. Uh, just being carried away by what they are saying in the meantime as an I what I meant is this most people in fact most of our leaders people that are supposed to protect us they are being carried away because of what they are gaining in the sense that they don't even care about the masses uh, which is what is affecting the country in a very big way well, that is it on this one, my people. Meanwhile, let me have your take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.